For this episode, I will be demonstrating the ringers wired on a four-party phone line. This is one set of C4 type ringers and it is using an electronic 28A ringer isolator. That is the black little item that's under the ringer that has the bell logo on it. There are neon ringing lamps to the right of the ringer isolator, which is below the ringer boxes. This is set up as a four-party phone line, so I will call each of the numbers that's written below the lamps and you'll see them ring. Of course this is a four party line uh, on one single line circuit so there can only be one call at any one given time. The ringer boxes have the same exact ringer in them as what is found in 500 set or 554 set. I will remove one of the boxes, the cover, so you can see the inside of the set. I'll demonstrate the ringing first and then I will remove the cover. You can see the tubes are lighting up during the ring. All four tubes will light. However, the brightest tube, which is on the right, is the one that is presently connecting the bell to the line. In the bell system, in the early days, they had four-party or eight-party lines. Parties one through four would be a single ring, and parties five through eight would be a double ring. So I added a fifth party to this display to show the difference between the first four and the last four. If you find a black tube inside of a telephone, that phone would have been on a party line with positive or negative superimposed ringing. The next segment of this video, I will show frequency ringing that was used by most of the independent telephone companies. The ringers that's on the top of the brown backboard is a 
five-party telephone line that has five frequency selective ringers. Starting at the left side is a 20 cycle ringer all of the way up to a 60 cycle ringer on the right hand side of the board. This is connected to a north electric switching system that has the ability to send different frequencies down the line depending on the telephone number dialed. I will call each of the five numbers starting with the 20 cycle ringer on the left then the 30, 40, 50 and the 60 cycle on the right. I will let each ringer ring two times. All five of these ringers are connected to the same telephone line and they're all receiving ringing voltage at the same time. However, due to the capacitor and the weight that is on the armature, the ringer uh, hammer, that determines what frequency will actually ring the ringer itself. They will all be vibrating, but not enough to ring the, the bells or to hit the gongs. You will be able to tell from each of the codes there is a different sound to each of the ringers depending on the frequency of the ringer. The 20 cycle will be a lower sound and the 60 cycle will be a very fast ringing sound. And everything between the 30, 40, and 50 will be a different speed uh, depending on the frequency.